Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we're on air. Aiden's back with us again. He's helping us out. Um, he's got a couple days off, and I appreciate it. Jimbo's in the house, and we got a live studio audience today. We've got uh, Timbo, which is Jolene's stepdaddy, and her mother and just watching live. Um, we're going to cut this bad boy apart. As you can see, uh, we got the front fenders put on it. Um, I just wanted to more or less see what the car was like. We've gone through a lot of the parts, and a lot of stuff is missing. And, but we've got the hood, we've got the basic shape going on it. But the, the sheet metal of the fenders are, seem to be fantastic. We sort of knew that when we bought it. The hood's not, not bad. Um, we got that put on there. Um, we've got the back doors. You've seen the last time we took the back doors off. Aiden cut the back of it off. Uh, basically, we've gone over the stuff trying to find out what we have and what we don't have. And we're going to do some more cutting. Aiden's going to cut the back of the, of the cab or the car off. I'm, I am going to, I'm going to watch them, and also I like this piece right here. When we, took, when we cut this bum off, I liked this corner right here. Uh, when Jim was talking to me last, he was showing us the Australian trucks, and I like them, but I'm not fancy of that style. I'm, I'm fancier of the straighter down, what do you call it? Traditional. Tradi traditional. Um, American look is what I'm going for, but we have this shape here. Like I mean, you know, we can only we're only working with what we what with what we have, and this is the shape that we have in the back. But I do have this shape right here that is a lot sharper on the corner. So basically, what's going to happen is is I'm going to get Aiden to cut the back of the car off. We've talked about it. We're just going to cut this part off here and cut it across here. And then we're just going to take it off and set it aside. And then what's going to happen is we're going to come up here and we're going to cut this piece off. We're going to get release that piece. I'm going to I'm going to cut into this, and I'm going to try to make something out of the these two corner pieces for the corner of the truck. I'm, I just want to play with it, check it out, and see what it looks like. But we still have all this stuff back here to do with what we need to do with if we want to make our truck um, with this piece in the back window. We obviously know, we, we did that last time, the measurement of this is wider than the measurement of that. Yeah. If I go back further, it goes back on an angle, so it will get shorter each time that we go back. Yeah. But the, basically, um, we want to cut it off and, and start going there. So I'm going to give Aiden, uh, Aiden's going to do the zip cut first, and then he can use the reciprocator saw after he gets the the cut into it to cut it off if he wants to. You can cut it all off of the zip cut if you want to. Does not matter to me, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, but I'm going to cut that little section up there and play with it and see if I can't make a corner for the for the truck. I'd like where'd you find that, Jimbo? Oh awesome. Still missing the other one. Awesome. That's for what it's worth. So well done. We've been looking through, that's kind of beat up a little bit, isn't yeah, it? But it gives, at least it gives you an idea of what they had. Awesome. But that one's missing, or that one might be that one. Exactly, you can, see, same, you can see how that's bronzed on there. Yeah. We, didn't, we couldn't find a few things. We have the ends of the hood to hold the hood on now. Um, this, to, to that's paint. It, that's it, that's the only one. I'll put that right in there. To paint something like this, we had the hood was taken apart. We put this piece on the center to hold the hood together. Very hard to paint something like that and then put that piece back on, bang it on. We had to bang with a hammer, Aiden had to hold it. And it was quite something else. And I kind of hats off to anybody that restores this stuff and puts it all back together because you have to ha be very careful, do you not, Jimbo? I mean, you would rip all the paint off the center of that hood, um, putting that chrome strip all the way back there. You would rip it all off. Ugh. But, anyways, let's go for it. Let's cut the back off. I'm gonna, you're going to use the zip cut first. I'm going to get a zip cut going. Uh, I, I want to cut this piece up. I'm going to cut this up and see if I can't make a corner for the truck. I'll get you to go for it, do what you're doing there, Aiden. Okay. I'm going to cut that up. And we yeah. got our, what's that? I'm just getting a okay. And we got our live studio on. So over here, Timbo's over there. He's our live studio audience. Are you comfortable? Very. <laughs> Very. Um, what do I want? I want a zip cut. Cut down long. Just cut her in here somewhere. Yep. And then cut straight across. 
whatever, like, I mean, we're not going to use any of this. So wherever the nicest, straightest cut is, you can cut all along there first if you want to, and then stick the reciprocator saw in that hole, and then come out this way if you want to. I think so, yeah. Okay, do, do whatever you like. Thank yeah, you, Jimbo. Thank you. Yep. I got a cord over here. He's got the... That's fine. I'll grab another one. Nope, you're all right, Jimbo. Aiden, if you want to drag that to the other side, I will, I will finish this side All right. and then I'll help you get that off. And that way there we can mess with the can corners or mess with the roof corners. So I'll just leave that alone. I'm going to help him get this off and then we can get that off. Then we can start messing with stuff. doesn't matter. stick that in there and cut your um what do i say now i'll go around to cut the top well it doesn't much matter cut that go that it'll hold it up for you at least the roof will hold up for you go for it did you cut it all the way across okay all right no i'll get that i'm going to take your cord though this one hold your hold your hand thank you you got enough can you reach it Gutter? I know gutter's the last thing that goes on. <laughs> Found that out, didn't we? I'll take your reciprocator saw. We'll just unplug it and I'll come to this side. Jimbo head out, did he? He took his um, iPad and I think just put it outside for a second. Okay. 
I'm gonna cut this bad boy. I'm gonna miss. All right, Aiden, we should be able to pull that off. I'm gonna get on a pair of gloves first. We'll just set it in behind here. And we can skin that as it sits on the floor. Uh, what I mean by skin it is pull the, the metal, the sheet metal off it. Um, looking for them gloves. It's a windy day here in Nova Scotia today. Very windy. Very windy. You can hear it. We got the heat on the garage now. Um, this this garage is heated with a electric boiler with in-floor heat. Um, that's how this garage is heated. Um, we come in this morning; it was kind of turned off, so now we just got it turned back on, and uh, we're heating the garage up. Oh, what's going on there? I got wires or something? What have I got? Wires? Oh, it's just not cut at the top. I guess there's a little tiny piece going on there. I'm gonna just take a zip cut. I wanna thank all the good people for coming back and all the good comments. Thank you very much, appreciate it. You're the reason why we do this sort of stuff, is the good people. And I also like it. <laughs> I don't know, cutting up old cars, man. I don't think there's any more fun than that, cutting up old cars. And we're not hurting it. I don't think anybody was going to restore this car. Most of the pieces are missing. We're done. And what do you think, Jim? Do you like it? We're done. <laughs> and Jim just looked. No, I don't like it, he says. Mm. We're going to call her the fastback. <laughs> All righty, we got two pieces hanging out over here. Uh, we're, we're going to end up cutting these off and what's going to happen is, as I see, we have an inside construction right there on the roof. We're going to leave that there. We obviously must have one right here. So we're just going to cut behind that. And as I see, if we cut behind that, we have, we'll be cutting right up about here somewhere on the back part of that. That's where we're going to cut that off. So ba -ba -ba. it's pretty cool. Let's take a look at it for a minute. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think, Aiden? You like it? <laughs> the front end of the sheet metal and the, and the grill and all that stuff, I think, is very attractive. Not as attractive as Jolene is, but it's attractive. Is that right, baby? Huh? I'm going to make an incision, and then you can cut it with the reciprocator. How's that, Aiden? And we'll cut them fastback pieces off. They would call that a mullet in the car world, wouldn't they? Jimbo, just a sucking on that. No, no, no. Then the cat can be shorter. No, I'm not cutting. No, that's too much work. No, I'm not doing it. Frig you. Oh, put a shorter steering column. I see what you're saying. And then move the seat ahead. Then your cab wouldn't have to be back as far, and you could have a better looking box. What? Or put your steering column shorter or higher. Um, a little bit more anchor so that's ahead. So your seat can go ahead so your can can be shorter so you have a bigger box. I'll think about that while I'm cutting. What a nice little box. If you have such yeah, nice. wheels, it's going to be a little, you know, it's hard to get a good size box on there with such a short wheelbase. We're going to have to do something about that. I did notice that as we were putting it together that it is a short wheelbase and the rear end is probably not going to stay there. But we've got lots of height on the frame back here, so it, yeah. it, it should not hurt any to move it back a little bit to me. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, he says. Or even put a different kind of suspension in. Remember like that uh, 17 Studebaker I have that has that weird arrangement. 
You yes. can almost put the rear end anywhere you want it mm -hmm. if you had that type set up. See what happens. See what happens. I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to make a mark, and then I'm going to let Aiden cut it with a reciprocator saw. Mm. I'm just going to cut it. And if you want to take the reciprocator saw mm -hmm. and follow that line, I, I actually can cut it quite a ways, but this is finish it. Cut off of the saw. Well, this, I guess, basically pretty easy. So I'll just get you to hold on to it as I yep. cut it off so it don't fall. Just bring it over there. Yeah. Gonna need a reciprocator saw. I might as well do it, I guess. And that way, there you can hold the piece. How's that? I'm gonna steal that from you. Now we're really cooking with gas, eh? Oh yeah. Pull this piece. Oh, it looks like a truck now with that guy on. Does it look like a truck now? Yeah. All right. I love it. I gotta take this jacket off, sweetheart. This if you don't. Is the first truck you made. Yeah, it is actually. Will be the first. Will it not, sweetheart? Be the first truck we made. Yes. Oh, okay. First. Yes, we we worked on the the race car hauler. That's the, the truck. But um, basically, to make a truck, we have not done that yet here. I don't think. But we're going to today, or we're going to do the start of it, anyways. I need a zip cut. We could have, yeah. And there's no set rules to this, no set rules whatsoever. It's just kind of go with what, you're, what you want to do. There's no set rules. Get you to hold on to it while I cut it the rest of the way off. Awesome. Let's just shove it a little ways further ahead. And that way there, if, um, I'm gonna, I might get you to skin the back, I'm not sure. Just shove it a little ways more ahead. Say when, sweetheart. Good? Yeah, good. Alright, that's going to give us a little bit of room if we want to play with this back piece. Alright, this is the back piece. It's got a nice, it's got a, well, it's got a nice shape there. But as, we, as I was saying before, as Jimbo was telling me, and I didn't really realize, but yeah, it's an Australian shape with the back window and this piece here like that. I looked at them. I liked them. 
but I don't know if, as if I want to go for that, basically. I'm liking this shape right over here. I'm liking this sharp corner, really. Um, if we can get a nice sharp corner on the back of this, a nice sharp corner here, and then come straight down, I would probably enjoy it a little bit more. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. Maybe I'll get Aiden something to do. I'm going to, this piece here would not fit. This would not fit the back of that truck, obviously. But we can manipulate it, maybe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off and cut um, maybe across here. And I'm going to take this corner and see what happens here. We've got lots of sheet metal down here for um, continuing on with all the sheet metal here. We've got the sheet metal from the door, so everything that we have we're going to keep, but we've got this sheet metal here that we can use if we need a little bit right here because when we bring it back we're going to have to have this body molding right here a little bit. Um, it does not have to go all the way around the back of the cab. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but if it does we have we have two doors um, that would give us the length of sheet metal to go across the back or we can actually make it on the step roller. We could do that as far as that goes. But basically what I want to do is, is I'm going to cut this off and that off and just try to make something out of it. So I'm just going to cut this off for a second. I'm going to go for it. Once I cut one off, Aiden, I'll show you what I'm doing, then you can cut the other one off for me, as far as that goes, and I'll start, start playing. I'm gonna cut it off. How much of the sheet metal do I want? Where the sunroof is cut out, that's up uh, where it's almost up. So if you cut out where the hinge is, that's over plenty far enough to match up with the paint. Too big, even though it's kind of smaller. But That's it's for kind sure. Of smaller, then it's hard to get it. Yeah, I just I just didn't want them holes. So basically, Aiden, when you cut this one off, you see how you just look at that one and do the exact same thing. Gotcha. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna take it all. Why not take it all? I can't see no reason why not to take it all. <laughs> into the lead there. It's gonna get another blade, cut that off. And I am just trying this trying this corner out um, because like I said I like the shape of this corner just a little bit better than the rounded corner. Um, where I look at it like this I think if we got that cab to come straight down in the back it would kind of give it a different look because we got a lean window on this Jimbo's got a 39 Studebaker. It's got a nice lean window to it. it looks really nice. The back is round on your Studebaker too, but the difference between... Goes straight down. It, straight down. Yeah, straight down just but also your door is round yeah. here too, is it not? Which kind of gives it a good look. There's a blade for you. You can cut... I'll, I'll cut this side off, then you can cut the other side off. Yeah. And pretty well just match up what I did. Okay. You know what I mean? You know, just take a look. You can see that I cut say a half inch on that side. Bottom there, and you can see where I cut just above that there. I didn't want to get into that. Gotcha. There's no sense, I'm not gonna use that piece. So basically just cut somewhat the same. Now I'm gonna write down the body line. Look at the lead. 
That's called filler. Can't weld to that. But I've got a panel here now. I do not want... I'd like to have that like that. But yet, that's what I like. I like the corner. And that's what I like right there. But I want this to come down straight. If you know what I'm trying to say. So I can cut this. I would end up cutting this here and cutting it up here. I like that corner. I like that corner. But I want this to come down straight. Or do you uh, hold it in here? where you want it, and then bring this down. Can do that too. You know, then you have a better, maybe a better visual. Oh, you uh, like Jimbo's idea better, right? Like, well, <laughs> it gives you this, uh, easier to see than up there, a bigger area, and then just cut your doorway out, and then drop that down, and keep fitting it until it fits. But you see this way, then you've got, well, two, not, you've got three or four times more things to visualize that you don't actually have. Like there, at least you have one surface that you can work with. Aren't you so happy you stayed? Um, well, let me know how you Talking to the line. Uh, Talking to the... Uh, let me know how it works out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> True. But basically, that's, that's what, exactly what I'm looking for. You know, is you just melt that down somehow. Melt that's that down. That's where your expertise comes in. Melt that down. Your eyes are on you. <laughs> 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 Don't be sure. <laughs> All eyes are on you, and don't be. And don't. You've been here before. You've been here before. Okay. What's that? Do you like? Uh, yeah, this looks better than having them round back, don't it? Or basically. Um, we think so. Someone in Australia might disagree. Like they, you know, people are traditional that way. Right. Like, but all the pictures of the old trucks in Australia all had that funny, funky look. Yeah, I agree with you, Jimbo. All right. But here. Aiden, you're allowed to cut. So I'll, I'll just give a mark there so you know, sort of know what's going on. All right. We want to cut the same distance of the same thing. Thanks, Jimbo. Half inch from there. Basically, I'll just cut on that side of that hinge. There's a hinge there. I want that. All the way down here. And then across, straight across this to meet to that. Basically, so you're going to cut that all off. Okay, yeah, just a I just want that line across there, across there, and you'll give me the same piece. I'm going to grab a couple of clamps. Go for it. Want to hold this for me there? Yeah. I, I want to hold the corner. I want to hold up as far as you well, can. So I want. To, I sort of want this. I want sort of want this corner look like it's going like we're going down here a little bit. Yes. Um, so hold me up the like roof lines right here. Stand behind me and look over here after this. Watch your hands, Scott. Hold it up higher. Hold it up higher. Now, see, okay, bring it down. That will be the same height right here. And then you just melt that down and you can try to have it. 
it's a little trial and error until you get it close. It all is, yep. Until you get it close. I'm gonna put another one on it. How'd you make it, Aiden? Good. Good, man. Good. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. Yeah, this edge is pretty well at the top of the roof, right there. So that is at the top of your turn. Yeah. And that's your straightaway. So that's, you know, that's pretty close to here. Yeah. Cool. I gotta get this turned down to there. So basically what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to cut it and turn it down. Or Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> it's, it's going to work it's, anyway, it's, any way we want it to. It's the opposite of shrinking. It's almost like you're stretching the metal down now. Well, I'm going to be taking metal. I'm going to be shrinking it. Yeah. Because this is coming to this. Going, we're going to shrink it that much. Yeah, that's a serious amount. Isn't it? So what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut it. Probably and of here, course, it will help when you cut this and it drops that way a little bit too, away from that door edge. You know, that'll bring this here at the same as that. I'm liking exactly where it's at right at the present moment. I'm liking how straight this is. It'll just go you that like it? way. Once you notch this, this will go that way like half an inch or more. Well, you might have to, we might put, I might have to put an edge on that. Oh, okay. On this yeah. all the way down to make it come out to the door. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. a, like. I know, because right now we're on the outside. Of the door, right. And that's not where it's going to be. But right. It has to be there for now, at this stage. But where you cut your angle to get that to do what you want. Where to cut it to shrink it is where it was. That, that is, uh, we're all going to watch and learn. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I, no I, one in this room can actually answer that question. I, I, keep, for, I keep forgetting um, <laughs> how funny you are sometimes. Yes. <laughs> uh, most yes. Cat corner. Down that uh, cat corner. Yeah. Put up there. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> Timbo suggested that, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it would be that 90 degree angle. You know, well, I don't buy cat corners. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> well, you thought that was funny, but you didn't think the 365. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't catch on earlier. You did? Yeah, right. I sometimes laugh later, uh, kind of slow, at some of this. All right, I got what I want to do is I'm going to try to shrink. We've got the back of it looking. We're basically, I guess we want it, we do want it straight looking down, do we, <coughs> do we not? Or are we going to, <coughs> I lost my voice there for a second. Or are we going to have to come back a little bit further? Is it too small? Does it need to come back further? That's where you cut your steering wheel shaft off and move the steering wheel ahead so the seat can go ahead. I'm going to have to do it anyways. What do you think, Aiden? Short, short vehicle. It is short, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to sit mm -hmm. in it for a second. I got to because if, if I don't want to cut it and then think that, wow, I've got, oh yeah, the back of the cab. I mean, the back of the seat would be right, right on that. Like if everything's fine if the steering wheel could be a little farther ahead. It can. It can. You know, one way or another. One way or another. Yeah, to, so basically I'm, I'm going to try to shrink that piece. So I've got this much here. That's probably good. I'm going to go from here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, I'm not going to cut a V out of it and, and, and bring it together. I'm going to cut a line in it and then bring it down and then we'll, we'll cut it again and that be the metal that we're going to cut out of it if you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go from here. Like, like that. I'm going to cut it all the way over there. Because this is going to... And then we'll take, we'll cut this all the way over there. And then I'm going to push that down where it's cut. I'll push this down. And that piece here will go underneath this piece. 
We'll bring it down to the top of this. Could and then we'll see. It can just it, come it, right it, out here. That way you can work with it. Because otherwise I can, you guys yeah. I'm going to have to. Yes, I can. Yeah. yeah. But if you cut it and let this bend out, bend it down here, cut it off again, then you don't have to take the clamps off for this beginning work. What a great help he is today. That's true. That's true. It's I can not really an opinion. It's just um, an idea speaking out loud. Well, I can take an idea. Nothing to it. Yeah, but. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just wondering what's going. I got what's going to happen. I got that piece. I got to bend there. Is that going to pucker there? Uh, it's, actually, it's, that might hold it that, together. That, I'm thinking that too. Now. Hold it together for now, and then we're just going to bend that down. That's going to go underneath that. Alrighty, let's just want to think it over yeah, before I cut it. That's all. You have this clamped. When you cut that, that's going to spring out, and it should just fall right down. I'm going to. Balls. I'm going to just let this off for a second. I'm going to pull the clamp back a little bit so I can. So that'll go down by, hopefully. Nope, not gonna do it that way. Should swing down by. I just don't want to ruin the piece. I know you want me to cut <laughs> He wants me to cut it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the piece. No. Basically, I do not want to ruin the piece. Okay. It's already right where it's at. They have lighter uh, fans that don't have quite as much weight. Hard to put a little... Um, I have a bag of clamps. No, I've got a bag of clamps that i got to work right over here. You know, a lighter one might not have the weight you can barely catch it. I got these bad boys. See if these bad boys will hold it. Yeah, I don't usually like giving my opinion because then it, it seems controversial because there's always comments that people have other ideas and think, uh, oh, we should keep my mouth shut. But, well, uh, I'm here to make this easier for you in case I see that you might be making it hard with yourself. Exactly. And I but agree with you. at this stage, you might as well keep it easy because it's going to get a little more difficult before it gets easier again. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go up a little bit higher. Because if I stay, I don't want to stay in that. I want to, I want to get in the center of my crown. Oh, geez, I'd say. I'd say you're already in the center of the crown. Because I am. This is I, already sitting a little higher than the roof. No, we're right here. Right there. Yeah, right there is where it's... No, right there. It's setting nice. I don't want to mess with that. Okay. So here. And come down like that. I'm going to cut it. All I can do is... Well, you can always uh, make... It's like you said, there's no wrong cuts. Well... <laughs> you just do different things. I'm just going with it. That off for a second. Pull that out just a little bit. I want to cut the roof of the car. Not really. Let go that time. Not bad, eh? Or not? I mean, it's up a little high, is it not? Or yeah, no? you, now you can drop it. But yes, that's good. I'm gonna get another clamp. Clamp that. Hope I know what I'm. Hope hope I can. Uh, well, I'm basically, 
just do the exact same thing I did on this side, do it on the other side. Basically, is what I'm hoping. But I do like the idea of it tilting down and then rolling back like that. That's the only reason why we're here. And don't forget, if we, if you know, if if you know, if I'm building this and I mess up somewhere, if I mess this up, I, we still have that over there. We still have it. It's not like it's over. Cut that again. Right in this spot. Because it's hitting right back there. Just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing, that's all. It's hitting right there. Kind of all that matters is we're still square here. Yeah. And this line here matches your roof line. Yeah. You know, and you do, so. You need little tiny vice grips. Just gonna hold that down. Here, big vice grips. We're getting a corner. I like there now. I like I like the lean on that. Don't you like the lean on that? I like the lean on that. I do. I do. I'm gonna, I do, I really like it. And as far as this being out this way, too far, when we cut it here, it yeah. drops it back and it should line up. Yeah. All right, I like, I like this. I like how it's leaned up like that. I do, I like this, I like it. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put that back together because I like it. Tack it on. Yeah. Just gonna take a grinder. Thank you, Aiden. Always in on this. Thank you. Got a grind spot off. Yeah. of the woods by no means yet that's for sure it's kind of in the, we're in the experimental um, stage never thought in my 
world, I never thought in the world that I'd be using the bum of the car to put on the back of the roof, but this is where we're at. All because of you, Jimbo. Come on now, give me a ground here. I want to get it flush so it fits the best. And I want to be able to cut it back apart. Just tack it. That's all I want to do for now. Now what I want to think I want to do is I want to make it fit. And what I mean by fit is make this all come down here and try to get it in there where it's supposed to be. So if I got my uh, marker. You could take it off, open the door, put it back on, then go inside and draw a line. Can do that. Don't have to, you just uh, off the wall come. Yeah. Otherwise, you kind of have to guess where it's going. I'm a good guesser. Yeah, I know. And you like guessing. I do like guessing. And guessing isn't like gambling. <laughs> guessing is guessing. Matter of fact, the line you make might be the way you want to change the door. See, if I get in behind that door, yeah. it'd be nice. You know it's kind of toys. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And I can cut it a little bit big. You know, I can cut it in here, get it in behind the door. I'm down there, I know I'm going up. It'd be a sin to get it too small, wouldn't it? I just sort of like to leave it right there for now while I cut it. Or take it off. Let's take it off. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea to take it off. Yeah, I'd never be able to get it back on there and get the door closed to mark it. Get up here. I'm going to cut it, but I'm going to cut it. I'd like to put that together. Looks good. That's nice. Looks good, eh? Um, it does to me. Yes, by the time you fit it. I'm just going to tack that together because um, I feel like. That's what, what, what should happen. That's basically the only reason I do anything because that's what I feel like should happen, I guess.
should have bought a cab corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Juno thinks that's funny. <laughs> it looks like a cab Not down there far enough yet, are we? Uh, no, you just gotta cut the uh, original roof back, which doesn't need to be there. Okay. Until the line. That's the line I had, but we're seeing. Seem, seems to be up there still quite a bit, I do. I'm down on that, am I? Yeah, you're hitting the original roof, which you don't need. I might have to shrink it again. Um, maybe. Maybe. Would be nice to get it underneath the door. And put it on underneath the door, you know what I mean? So I can shut the door on it? Sort of would be nice. Yeah, you, you have to cut the roof right here, the actual roof off back a couple inches. Because you're dropping down. This drops down before your roof, original roof, so you gotta cut the original roof off. That's what's holding you up. Oh, that's where we are, that's where I'm supposed to be, right there. I wanna get a clamp and just clamp that down. Yo, you got her, Jimbo. Thank you. To duplicate this is going to be the issue. <laughs> what? Do you think? Yeah. Aiden, you want to get the other side while I do this? <laughs> Make it look the same? Uh, there's always a, um, a thing with, I had uh, a guy named Kevin used to work with me, and uh, whoever got their side done first um, was the bonus because you had to make your side look like their side. You know what I'm saying? Like in fill work or... I worked in a buy shop where I was fussier than this yeah. other guy. And I designed the one side well up the entire side of the car rust. And this other guy did the other side of the car. And he was always done first and did a terrible job. <laughs> and I was always slower, did a much better job. He had it all body filled, spot putty and primed by the time I started body filling. And then he was called off the job, went on to something else. I'd finish my slide, then I'd go around and fix his slide. What a hell of a job that was. Uh, I had to make his side look as good as my side. And after it's all welded up and body filled and primed, it's hard to do. But anyway, that was my job for a couple of years, I'm years ago. Probably going to have to. We're not too high, are we? Well, I don't. I like, I like it. I, want, like, I like to have it lean. A little bit, but I am. But I have got an issue. Uh, actually, it's hitting hard right here. This corner has to come off. The original roof has to come off because this is turning down. That yeah. little bit. Yes. Yeah. I'd say just back a couple inches. Because you're already like the last two inches of this is turning down, and <coughs> the original roof. I'm gonna say you have to cut back. I'm gonna go for it because. We can't. You don't need to take the brace. No, nope, I'm just going to cut that. Yeah. And, and that way, there I'll know both sides how to cut it. Watch it, Jimbo.
I thought that was a good idea. You know, I can't just watch and not say anything. <laughs> That's okay, Jimbo. <laughs> I can't. Some people, like some of your audience here, they're smarter than others. Maybe they're smarter than no dare say. So how it goes, Jimbo? You want to hold that for me again? Just yep. Uh, it didn't drop down like that. Well, it did for me. It dropped down quite a bit here where I wanted it oh, to. Okay. It's got a little bit much here, but I can do that again. Also, it um, we're. We're all very happy with this look right here. <laughs> We're all very, you happy with that, Tim? No. No, no Tim's not happy no, with it. No, you do not speak for me, Jim. <laughs> no, no, you don't like that? <laughs> oh, he's bullshitting you. He likes it a lot. He likes it more than I do. <laughs> That's a square door there. I could start tacking it on is what I could do. Um, but uh, do you want to cut the doorway out first or? Well, I'd actually put it in behind the door, but I'd like to get it up here. Fitting, fitting this up here is what I'd like to do. But I'm I'm you got to say, I'm with Aiden on this one. <laughs> hold, that there for, <laughs> hold that there for a second. <laughs> We're up still a little bit high. But then again, I like that leaned look. I like that. I like long, long as it's straight. Well, push in just a little bit. Yeah, see something like that. I'm gonna. I like to tack it one more time above that one and then cut that off. That's what I'm gonna do. Because when I I want to tack it so I can it will stay together. That fell last time. Put a little dent in top of the door. It did. I don't want that to happen again. So I'm just gonna. Put the helmet down and got done. So it stays together. Now I'm going to cut it up. It's a cut. that I'm gonna open the door see if I can shut the door on it see what happens that's going to be quite a piece to duplicate if you know what I'm trying to say like to do it to no, the other you're just gonna have to do the other one the exact same yeah just I know but go ahead and just do do it until you get it right like it's not gonna be a duplicate it'll, it'll be on its own not duplicated, you, it'll but have yeah, nothing to do with this side except for it has to end result End result has to be the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm scared of, Jimbo. But there won't be any more surprise over there than there is here. It would be the same thing. Same surprise? Yeah. What's going on here? Is that the door handle? Mm, no. Duplicated by the same thing. Watch, I'm going to open the door. Hold it. I'll have to cut it off some more, I guess, too. Um, I'm just going to cut it off some more. Or just back to the edge of that line. Right there. Yeah, that's... Can you hold that right? Yep. Actually. I think we're supposed to come in here, but that's okay. That'll go in there. Are we square here, though? 
How's that look, people? Or do we want to go in that way? So. Yeah, I don't think it's. That's good there, don't anything. it? It must be fa fairly straight. You hold that right there, Jim, with two hands. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good? Yeah, good, looks good. Follow the right line. How did, well, I used to put little X's on the wrong line. That way you know not to follow. Like when you take your right line, at the same time, just take your marker and put a little X, a little line across the line that you don't want to use. There we go. So that you don't get screwed up down here when you're going to step the wrong way. Oh, there, that's sweet. Squiggly lines are the same thing as the other. Lead all over this piece. Oh, there. <laughs> You're going to stand back and look at it? Or? I'm going to. Geez, I almost could tack it on there. I like where it's at right there. And then figure that out. I think I'm going to tack it on there. Because I can always open the door and cut it. It'll come. If you tack it on the door, it'll open up with you. I want to tack it on the roof. Tack it on right there. Now we're there to hold it for me. Where's the tank going to go? I'm not sure yet. metal around it, yeah, right there, look. all kinds of it. Just, just pull it back, just, all right, actually. I might not be in the right place. Only one tack, you can move it. Watch your eyeballs. Jimbo, stop that. That's fitting fine along there. I have to shrink it again here to fit the contour of the roof. So it 
this point right here is where you want that to sit. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I like that. I like how it's leaned down. I want that lean down. I like that. Okay. Do you like that, sweetheart? I like it. I like that. I'm, where's my grinder? I'm in, I'm in a rush. I got I got it figured out, I think. Not figured out, but if you know what I'm trying to say. tacked on. And yes, then, if the roof is down here, you can always pull the roof up. No, I want, I'm going to cut that again. Shrink it again. That's what I want to do. Let's see what happens. She's full of lead. I think lead gives you a ground, does it? Sure. Huh? Sure it would. I'll try it. What, what, are, what are battery terminals made of? I suppose. Good thinking, Timbo. Uh, they won't weld them. That's a good thought. Come on. There we go. Just trying to hold that in place, that's all. I'm going to weld that up there because I think I need to, or I know I need to. Yeah. We do think that. Woo. We got a we got a spot here that I can get my finger underneath it. It's tied down nice up here, but it's not got the same shape right here, so I'm gonna shrink this part here, get that down to there. We've got it tacked in a couple places, and I'm gonna shrink it. What happened there? Dork molten? The door won't stay shot. Come on. Door not shut? Oh, it's shut now. <laughs> what happened? Huh? Oh. Oh, you heard it and I didn't. <laughs> I understand more now. I'm going to cut that just a little bit further. I'm going to get a larger plant. Oh yeah, perfect. 
Great Rare Wonder. How long are we in there, sweetheart? Whoa, I'll get this fit where I want it to fit and shut her down. I'm just trying to make this one fit up here. Ooh, that fits good. Yeah. I don't want it that tight, I don't think. together. Put a spot of weld on that. Together or not. Basically, I like that. I like how that's going like that, don't you? I like that. That's what I was talking to Jolene earlier about doing it like that. Things can be shrunken a little bit more though, I see. Like this could be shrunken more. And basically what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to start knocking it on there uh, to actually work it to make it fit. If you know what I'm trying to, I'm gonna to have to put it on there to make it work to make it fit. All right, I guess that's it for now. But basically you can see what we're going for. We're not gonna use the back of that. We're going to make our own cab corners, <laughs> upper cab corners <laughs> like always but basically that's basically what we're going for um, is that shape right there I want I like how it comes up here and then aims down with a lean front window I think that's really gonna look good I'm, I'm liking it more than having it going back like that and uh, I'll have to thank Jimbo for that I have to thank Aiden for showing up today Aiden's coming back tomorrow all right yes, Oh. Him, he, he does the one on the other side. <laughs> yeah. <Yes>. So. <laughs> wow. But anyways, I'll do a little bit of measuring with some tape and trying to get the lines cut in the exact same spot to do the exact same thing. Hopefully I can get one in place and get Aiden to weld it up so we can see what it looks like. Like, share, comment, come back tomorrow. And thanks for all the supportive people that write supportive comments. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And all, all the good people. And all the good people. See you later. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.